Damn, what a waste of time. Think about sending the printer back, have it recalibrated. <sighs> Freaking, I don't know if this, if this is because of that, if that problem that I caused with the motor, or if it's just because of uh, environmental. But uh, fuck. So here's Godzilla. It's alright, but except when it came to the hands, they, they messed up. You can see his teeth, the tongue, you know, these are actually really sharp. But, um, it's, you know, not all that great quality, but it's, it's cool. I'm building, I'm going to do another one. This one I tried instead of 70% 70, 70 fill, I, you know, um, 20% fill. Meaning, like, in the chest cavities, hollow, in the legs, semi-hollow. Now, this is the, um, the Gypsy Danger. You know, the one that blew it, uh, first got ripped apart by, uh, uh, Knife Head, and then at the end, you know, they blew it up, because it was, uh, they called it Animal Reactor. It's a fucking nuke. It's nuclear power, fucking old fusion nuclear power, whatever. Unstable. Whereas the Striker, which they called Animal, uh, uh, Digital, was, um, Cold fusion powered, you know, batteries, hydrogen. Anyway, these legs are from the striker unit. Now, it got up to about midsection and then just boogers. Just freaking boogers. Fucked up. This. Hey, Mom. Hey, Bucky. Hey, Pucho. Fuck you, Pucho. Um, was doing so good. That right there, you know, slamming in the door. Thanks for slamming the door. Are you done? You smoking cigarettes? Uh -huh. Why are you smoking cigarettes in the house? I don't smoke in the house. Well, if you can, I don't want you smoking, but if you can smoke, smoke outside. Oh. Fucking. Anyway, um. Slamming the fucking door like that. I felt the huge. Ow. I just hit the finger, just dug in there. Ow. She just slammed the door and just felt the, you know. So I think maybe that's what, maybe that. During the day, now I set this, I started this at 2 a.m. And I finally fell asleep around 8 a.m. It took 7 hours and 49 minutes to complete, but it was more like around 8 or 9 hours. I mean, it started up good. This side, but then the hands, there's always a problem with the hands. But then on this side, it's messed up. Now, since this is Gypsy Danger, I think what I, um, I, shit, I can't remember the movie. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could, he lost this arm anyway. So maybe I should just snap off this arm and, uh, take, uh, the lighter and just, like, Dig in them and make it look like the knife had took a chunk out of them. But, um, yeah, this wasted a. Oh. I'm thinking about sending this back to Monoparts to have it recalibrated. Because how I messed it up is. Let me just take this off. See, I even used all the. You know, gave them supports. Full supports and everything. Much lighter because he's hollow. Think uh, a vanilla wafer. Think vanilla wafer. You know, like the wafer cookie. So, how I messed this thing up? Is right, go to it. move. Home Z axis. I did that, then started up a print. Go to exit. Go to print. Now I got Gypsy Danger and Striker. I started up a print, which then it get you know it started up the printing process. 
then there's uh, temperature and um, bed temp and then speed uh, pause and cancel I want to cancel and it has a problem with cancel once you hit cancel it doesn't cancel it it restarts it and then it wants to do it again so you gotta press it two times so then it started um, trying to home the axis meanwhile it was already home so it was so it was uh, just a little problem what are you doing Bucky come here what are you doing come here come here come here come here come here, come here. dick but yeah don't ever press the um, cancel button twice I guess, I don't know. But yeah, it's... So I got a miscalibration on one of the ZX. I mean, I could fix it, but maybe I should just send this thing back and let Monoprice do it. Let them fix it. Because I have the one-year warranty. Alright, so... This thing's been running and running for, for over a day. So I let it cool down for... I left it on so I could keep the timer. Because I didn't wake up. It's almost 8 o'clock. It's still light out. But I didn't wake up till like 5 or 6. Get the entire football team for the. <laughs> basically, for. Or should I say basketball team for, for the Jaegers? If they're going to be coming out like this, it's all, all his arms already loose. That's weird. Gypsy! Oh no! Gypsy lost his arm! Oh no! That's what you get for not following orders. Oh no, my arm! My arm! I dropped it in the, in the Pacific of the Alaskan Ocean! Oh no! You guys see the trailer for the second one? Now, I got a feeling, uh, or there's, there's two couple old movies, Robot Jocks, uh, which they renabled, relabeled, uh, one of them, Robot Wars, and then the second one was either Robot Wars or Crash and Burn, I don't know, but these two movies were really good, they, they were really good, you know, they, they're corny, but they were really good, and I think that's what the new, um, Pacific Rim, these new kaiju movies, or what they're gonna do, is, um, they're, you know, it's now that they've sealed the breach, and the Jaeger program, you know, like at the beginning of the movie, you know, they're the new football players, they're the new all-star team, they're gonna, they're, you know, um, America's Alaska unit, the uh, Gypsy Danger Mark Three or Mark Two, whatever, against, uh, Beijing, China's, um, Typhoon Mark II, you know, let's we'll see who wins. You know, a lot, and there's supposed to be, I think, eight or nine new, um, robots. And, um, either they're gonna fight each other, and then the kaiju, you know, the, the breach reopens, or it's just gonna be Robot Wars. I don't know, but that's, but that's my assumption. I mean, I, I got high hopes. Let me take this piece of brim off. Come on. It's not showing up on freaking camera, but... It, there is a fan... There, there are tiny little... There, it, it's a tiny little turbine. I could see the fan blades. But, I don't know why the camera's not picking them up. Whatever. Okay, let's turn the sucker back on. Print. Now I'm going to show you what I did wrong. Now it's already leveled and everything here. Stop fucking camera. Alright. Striker unit. Now it started it up, and I was like, oh shit, I fucked up. I forgot one of the settings. 
and then I went to pause, cancel, click to cancel, see right there how it just it fucked up, go to cancel again, but it had started, and it started, eh, 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 eh. see, see, that's the problem with the version 2. Now, there's nothing in my manual about this. The manual is like three pages just about, you know, plug it in, plug into the wall, down, and then look what's in the memory card, download the app, and then, you know, plug and play. The, now, I don't know what it's doing. I don't think it's calibrating. Because it's too sporadic. Calibration would be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, fifteen points. This is going. I don't know what it's doing. I just yanked it from the wall. That's why the pads all scratched up. Who's there, Bucky? Huh? What? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there, Bucky? Who's there? Go investigate. He's not stupid. So let's not do that again. So extruder to two ten is the two ten is good for this film. I mean it's rated between one ninety and two twenty. Two ten works. Comes out of the extruder at two ten and lays down a good coat, but it doesn't become a booger. Whereas whereas at one ninety, one ninety five it's it's a booger. Any hotter, it's a booger. But at 210, it lays right, platform. I'm just going to set platform to 30 degrees because it'll heat up to 40 on its own without external time. I'm actually going to leave the speed at 1.0 and then. Actually, I should not. See, it already it calibrates before each time. So you don't have to worry about moving trip. But there is that problem, like how I, you know, I canceled it, and it did that. Like I don't know what that is. That is not a calibration. What it's doing now is a calibration. Now it's getting ready. And then it's gonna start. It, now it's extruding. Shit, where's my um? No, 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 no! Fuck no! See, this is a booger. Got it. Hey. 
I hate boogers. Look at all that freaking dust. You see right there, that's at 210 degrees, and it's only, it's, you know, hovering around that point. Set it at 210, and it works good. At, with, that's just with this PLA. I mean, the PLA is different. Hang on a second. I got an idea. I just in case of people in and out the slamming of the back door. Cause all the instructions and everybody that I've talked to, you know, they all say the same thing. You know, don't have a fan blowing on it and that kind of shit. That the little fan and the little blower and the ex you know room temperature and so I don't know how long this is going to take, but this, I'm just going to let, let it go, keep running. And if it doesn't give me, a, if, it, if it does this again, I'm going to send it back to Mono Price and, and uh, let them fix it. Because I just want something plug and play. That's why I bought the Mono Price. I mean, just, I, mean I, got, I started this hobby up just... <sighs> Try to keep my mind occupied. Mind occupied. Alright, thanks for watching.